So I am trying to thread this gun right here. This is a Savage Mark II. It's got the wooden stock. Love it. Um, a little bit more on that later. Uh, I filmed it out of sequence, so the stuff you'll see later still has a scope on it, but not a big deal. Um, it's 22 long rifle. It's just kind of a plinking gun. I uh, got it for 150 bucks actually. So I've been looking to get it threaded, and everywhere that's been quoting me has been saying that it's going to cost, you know, almost what the gun is actually worth. And I just figured, why not buy the tools and do it myself for, you know, half that. So some things you'll need, obviously, your gun. You're going to need your die set, right? So I got this on Amazon. Um, it came, uh, so both pieces, the handle piece and the actual cutting uh, part for 15 bucks. So really good deal. You'll see it's one half by 28 right there. That's sweet, right? You will need a file just because um, my barrel is actually a little bit wider than half an inch wide. So I'm going to file it down. That seems a little bit um, savage and rough maybe, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to give it a go. Need that. Need some oil. This is just uh, some, some motor oil. So, And then I got this piece too. I saw lots of other people on YouTube using it. It is a thread starter. So you put this in your um, tap and die, or I guess your die, and that helps you line up your threads just right so that it's, um, it's so that, you know, your threads aren't skew wampus on your gun. So uh, let's do this. Oh, also, you'll need a, a vise, right? This is just a tiny little vise. I actually bought this specific for the video. It's only 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. So when all is said and done, it'll probably, I think, end up costing me um, about 65 bucks for this whole video, or, or I guess to, um, to, thread my, to thread my 22, which is a lot better than the... 140, 150 that people were quoting me. Uh, the lowest I got was about 100, 100 bucks. So here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna file this down. I've already, sorry, I've already filed down it somewhat. I'm not too worried about the scratches. Is I'm just gonna get some bluing chemical and, and re-blue um, all of the threading um, for that matter when I'm done. I couldn't get this off uh, the the front sight. Um, I just was too lazy, honestly. I'm not too worried about it. But um, I'm, I'm pretty close to half an inch, and I'm going to finish it up, and that's what you guys will see now. Okay, let's take a look what we got so far. So I got it wrapped up so uh, you know, nothing, the oil doesn't drip down when I get to grind or threading it. You'll notice there's kind of a notch down here. It's because the barrel is slightly tapered, so it is wider towards the bottom than it is at the top. Um, but this is actually pretty close to... Um, I'm still going to kind of sand it, get that smoother. But that's almost exactly a half an inch, um, and I'm really happy with that. So what we're going to, after I sand it and get it ready, uh, what we're going to do is, this thing basically goes down like that, right? And this goes on this, right? Something that I, I've seen and the manufacturer actually recommends this is that when you're doing it, you don't want, you don't want this basically touching the barrel like that. What will happen is when you begin to thread, it'll basically pull, this pulls down, it'll be, I don't know how to describe it, but it'll, it'll create a tension on the threads in here. And so it'll either tear the threads off this or more likely tear the, the smaller threads that you've just made on your barrel, it'll tear those right off. Um, it'll strip them. So I, I don't wanna do that, obviously. So I'm gonna do what the manufacturer recommends, keep it oiled. Uh, the cutting surface oiled as I go, and um, let's let's do this. This is the part I'm nervous about.
fucking about. Um, you can see it's kind of poking out the top, and at the bottom, there are several exposed lines of threads before it gets there. It's about halfway. As you can see, it is get to focus. There's some exposed threads right there, so that I don't strip the threads that are going to be on my barrel. I'm going to lube it up with some oil on the cutting surface and go from there. Um, it was actually easier than I thought to get it started. Um, it kind of went around the top a few times before it really started to bite. Now that I'm three or four in, I'm going to take the um, thread starter tool out of my um, out of my die and keep going and hopefully get down to just below or just above the iron sight there. All right, so let's take a look at the finished product here. I think that looks pretty good. Um, obviously, I'm going to get a chemical that re stuff and re -blew that. Um, but I have here a thread protector. I'm just going to check this on um, and make sure it still works. Oh, flip it upside down. There you go. It's just that easy. Uh, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So total, um, I think it ended up costing me about 60 bucks for the tools and the um, thread starter little tool thing. Um, and then obviously I got this, this vise, but if you already have a vise, um, you don't need that. That was another probably 20 bucks. And then this thing on Amazon was like seven bucks. So all in all, um, pretty awesome. And now I have the tools to do it to some of my other guns and the know-how, um, and I'm ready to go.